welcome. Well, thank you for having us. We are excited to be here. Um, we are very excited to be in the postseason for the second year in a row at Memphis, um, but really excited to be in Birmingham, Alabama, a state where football is extremely important. And being in a big time bowl atmosphere, a great city, and we've drawn an outstanding opponent in Auburn, which this will probably be a bowl game. I mean, like a home game for them being in a bowl game, but that's what college football is all about. It's, it's uh, sounding like there's gonna be an outstanding crowd on the 30th. Um, I know the people of Memphis are excited because they can get here easily and they're gonna be coming down. So Tiger Nation will be well represented. So we're excited to be here and, and enjoy the Southern hospitality that the Birmingham Bowl is, is uh, has promised us and we know they'll bring us and then in return we're uh, preparing ourselves to play a great football game on uh, December 30th at 11 a.m. And, and let two really good college football teams go at it. Um, we're also here, our thoughts and prayers are with the people of the city of Birmingham that had uh, a tough situation yesterday with the storms and some people injured and some flooding and some homes damaged. Uh, we just wanted to know that our, our thoughts and prayers are with all of those people and, and hope that they continue to recover and, and um, resume a safe, normal life. An SEC win on your resume this year, confidence-wise, what does that do for this team heading into this bowl? Um, you know, it does give us a little confidence in that we can do it, but you know, in the bowl season, everything is, it's a one-game season, so to speak. Um, nothing really counts going into this game. Um, you know, us having had a victory over Ole Miss, the only thing it does for us is maybe give us confidence that we can compete with a good team, but we were, we, we were on top of our game that day, and we will have to be on top of our game again uh, on the 30th to give ourselves a chance against Auburn. There are individuals who will connect the dots. You beat Ole Miss, Ole Miss beat Auburn, so you're better than Auburn, right? That has absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with it. Um, that is for the, the uh, sportscasters and the media people to talk about and things like that. We know that uh, who beat who and who didn't beat who and, and relative opponents really don't have any uh, bearing on a game because the matchups are always different. This game provides some really, really interesting matchups. Uh, they're fourth in the nation in kickoff return. We're number one in the nation in kickoff coverage. We got two of the best kickers in the country right here in this game. Uh, their offense is an offense that um, is very difficult to defend. Um, ours is too, so it's a good matchup for both both teams. So all the previous things that happened, um, you know, don't really matter going into this game, but I'm sure the media and um, the fans will enjoy uh, pre, uh, trading the pregame uh, speculation and all that, but the bottom line is the game has to be played at 11 o'clock on the 30th, or the game gets to be played on the 30th, and it's always fun during bowl season when um, two teams get together and, you know, hopefully um, they're both ready to play, because if both teams are ready to play in this game, it'll be an outstanding game.